Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the item volume with your mouse wheel in Reaper. Now, just to review, we could use our mouse wheel to control all faders in Reaper. It may not be obvious because the option is turned off by default. So if you go over here to the volume and move your mouse wheel, it's probably going to scroll up and down. And the reason it's turned off by default is so you don't accidentally, as you're scrolling up and down, readjust your levels. But if you want that feature to work, we'll go to the options menu and go to preferences and go down here under editing behavior and choose mouse. And just turn off this option. Ignore mouse wheel on all faders. So if we turn this off and put our mouse wheel on a fader, we can readjust it. Of course, you can always just grab it to move it around or hold down control on the PC or command on the Mac to move it with fine tuning. But if you just want to use your mouse wheel up and down, you have to turn off that preference. So you could go right here and use our mouse wheel to control the fader. Now I'm using a trackpad. So for me, I could just use two fingers on the trackpad. And it does the same thing. Going up makes it louder, and going down makes it quieter. And this is going to work with any fader we choose. So if we go to the mixer, just put the mouse wheel right here and go up and down. And it also works on knobs. So you can go to the pan and do the same thing, either here or over here. And it also works with sends. So if I go to the routing, I have a send for reverb and delay. Put my mouse wheel here to go up or down, and it's going to work. As long as we turn on or turn off that preference. But in this video, I want to focus on something different. I want to readjust the item volume. These are considered items with the mouse wheel. Of course, I can go over here and adjust it with this knob. If I turn on the preference over here, if I scroll down to media and change this from a handle to a knob, I could use knobs right over here. We could also do it with the mouse wheel. So the way to do this is we have to install a script. So we need to go to the Reaper stash and download it. So let's go to our browser and type in Reaper stash and choose it right here. Then we're going to search for item volume mouse wheel. And this script right here should show up. Item volume mouse wheel. Just select it and then download it to your hard drive. Then we'll go back to Reaper and go up here to the options menu and choose Show Reaper Resource Path. And that's going to open up this folder where Reaper is installed. Then we'll scroll down and find the scripts folder. Then we're going to put the file we just downloaded into it. Just drag it in. Go back to Reaper and go to the Actions menu. Show Action List. Then we'll go down here to Rea Script and choose Load. Then we're going to find on our hard drive that file. We'll load it in and it shows up right here. Now we can trigger that script using any keyboard shortcut we want. Hit Add. Now, if we just use the mouse wheel, it's going to overwrite what you're already using the mouse wheel for. So we don't want to do that. So what I recommend doing is adding a modifier to it. Anything you're not using. I'm going to choose a whole bunch of modifiers and move the mouse wheel. Hit OK. So we could use that to control the volume of our items. Just select any item, 
Hold down the modifiers while moving the mouse wheel and readjust the volume of each item. So we can get really close to readjust our item volumes, select them, move the mouse wheel, and readjust them. Pretty handy. Now, personally, I would prefer not to have to select each item, just have it work on the item under the mouse. And we could do that with a custom action. Let's go back to the action list and let's create a custom action. We'll search item under mouse right over here. Select item under mouse cursor. We'll drag it over. Then we'll choose script and find that script we just added. Drag it over. Now, this custom action is going to perform both functions. It's going to select the item under the mouse and then run that script. Let's give it a name and then save it. Now we can add that keyboard shortcut to this custom action. Hit add, move the mouse wheel with those modifiers, hit OK. It's going to override the previous one. And now we don't need to select the item. Just go over here, hold on the modifiers, and move the mouse. And we can quickly readjust the volume of the item without having to select it first. So we can jump around, changing the volume of each item in our project. And we can create new ones to cut it up by hitting S to split them and readjust their volume very quickly. Just split them to different items and readjust their volume that easily. It's very helpful for writing vocals or readjusting the level one item at a time. So that's pretty much it. That's how to adjust the item volume with your mouse wheel in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.